What's cracking, everybody? It's your favorite newscaster and announcer, Noble. Yes, that's right, the guy that makes his anime waifu cardboard cut out into his own personal hat rack. The best number one source of news. Let's cue that intro. I got two little stories that I want to discuss today. The first one is a victory. Now some of y'all may be w remembering that one time where Steam put on a little scary face and was about to ban some anime game content from their entire platform. Well as you know, we all love our anime tatas so much that Steam was like, you know what? Let's not do that anymore. Who the freak cares? Let's just allow you, the user, to enjoy whatever content that you want to desire. And thusly, the adult content has been allowed on Steam. That's right, you heard me. Pure adult content. We won, boys. Fully uncensored anime tatas. It's just a nice to go through uh, the new and trending list and see there's Tomb Raider, there's a really bad Zoo Tycoon game, uh, some football, and then right next to my nudie anime girls. Just, it's just a warm feeling in your heart. However, you can't actually see this without doing some options first, okay? And many people won't even know where to begin. So what you gotta do is go into your account settings, and then go to your preferences, and then you will see the mature content filter. Now, there's general mature, like a lot of this stuff was allowed already, but the one that was ticked off is the adult only sexual content and it's so nice that it gives you an example products of what you'll see and obviously there are extremely uh, highbrow titled names such as waifu school um, hentai hexa mosaic hentai puzzle x hentris and of course super kinky but let's not forget the classic bloody boobs okay some of them can't all be winners, but anyway, you will notice a general theme towards all of these And that's the fact that a lot of them are anime titles and basically this opens up the avenue To seeing a whole bunch of other anime games that you would never think of ever seeing on Steam that you can now finally play and in case you guys didn't know, the Negligee Love Stories was the very first adult title that was released. Uh, and uh, I actually did play Negligee on the channel and put Let's Plays. It's, it's not there anymore because I didn't save my <laughs> But that's an entirely different thing. Basically, it's a quality game full of quality lewdness. Can't go wrong. And of course, if you want to see all the mature stuff that Steam has to offer, you just have to search with the mature tag. Some of these games are just very odd, like Boobs Puzzle, or Hentai Square, uh, uh, Hentai, I, s some of them are just really odd. Now, I don't know why, but three of my friends own this game right here, and, and it's got 2,289 reviews on this. My god, is that actually a good game? It's kind of funny and interesting how uh, Negligee Love Stories is actually selling more than Grand Theft Auto 5. Granted, Grand Theft Auto 5 came out a long time ago. The next thing on Noble News Agenda here is a much sadder thing that you guys have been talking about in the comment section lately. And it's what's going on in Europe right now with the new laws that may go into practice, and very likely too. And it's Europe's new copyright directive. Specifically, we're going to be talking about articles 11 and 13 of it. Basically, what they're trying to do is to level the playing field, I suppose, of, say, big companies like Google, who take other people's works and turn it into a profit, and while they're getting a huge chunk of profit, that while using other people's works that well they're feeling slighted and they want a bigger share of it so what does this mean well article 11 is basically called a link tax basically it gives publishers a right to say hey you need to pay me money for using my link now there's a lot of questions that come up from this like 
well, how much money are they allowed to ask for? Or is it like percentage or what's going on here? How would you possibly know how much money you would get from clicking on a link? And supposedly, it's not supposed to affect things that are non-commercial, all right? But uh, who knows? Like seriously, what counts as non-commercial nowadays? Like, am I, I don't think I count as non-commercial anymore, basically because of the fact that I run advertisements on my videos. So if say, if a website or other thing that, you know, where you can actually click on it for free and view everything for free, but actually has advertisements on it, does that count as non-commercial? But basically the big one that people are really upset about is the article 13 which is the upload filter. To sum up, they want to put in a filter on the internet for what you upload that basically says, okay, this counts as copyright infringement. You cannot do this. And they want to put it on everything. Is this already sending off warning bells inside of your head right freaking now? A system like this has already been implemented and by far has already been abused by YouTube itself. They have bots that scan every single thing in your videos to the text, to the images inside of it and check for copyright infringement. Does it work? No. I don't know how many times I've had to appeal videos for monetizations based on terrible, terrible bot monitoring for every single video that I've ever uploaded on this channel pretty much ever. And its copyright system is even more broken because pretty much anybody can make a false copyright claim and then give your channel a strike. Granted, it's never going to stick and of course you can appeal it uh, and you can also counter sue them. So I don't recommend people try this because the person that's doing it is gonna get screwed royally, but still, anyone can abuse it. Basically saying YouTube is obligated to throw punches first before actually checking the work to make sure it's legitimate. And that's the problem with this article 13. There is no way for them to possibly tell them what is legitimate fair use and what is not. I'm just going to assume that fair use is allowed in this. S such things like YouTube videos, that review a subject, that meme about a subject, or other things. They're saying that they're trying not to kill their memes, it's not targeted at that. But honestly, this shit will. They have no way of telling, yo, this is fair use and this is not. The bot will pick it up and they will still claim your shit regardless. Just like YouTube's does every single time. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a lot of companies like even abusing copyright laws and YouTube system. Even if it is fair use, they'll still put claims on your videos. They'll still try to get as much money as they can out of you. Because you know what? Businesses want money. Yeah, I know. And they want it however they can because there's no punishment for them putting these false claims on your videos. YouTube doesn't do anything to them. Simply put, uh, they already own the content, yes, so they don't really have to worry about being countersued because it's their content that you're making stuff from. So they can try and fight it out, but you know, if, if push comes to shove, they will back off because they know it's not worth fighting in the court of law. You know, it's because they'll lose. Still won't stop them from trying to earn as much money from you as possible. But just imagine it's not just on YouTube, but the entire internet. And you know how the entire internet is full of trolls and other people that just love to ruin your day. And I'm bringing this up to you guys because Europe is still a pretty sizable portion of my audience. And I'm just pouring out my heart out here for you guys because like that's bullshit. Like putting a filter on the internet, like it needs to be brought to people's attention. Because that, that's just wrong, dude. You can't police the internet like that. You can't filter it because people will obviously abuse it. It's ridiculous. But unfortunately, it got the majority support by a sizable margin by the people making the laws in these countries. So I, I don't know what to say. I hope the best for you guys uh, in Europe for the next coming years. I hope your memes and animes aren't taken away 
due to copyright stuff because we know a lot of YouTubers and copyright stuff, especially in Europe, Britain included, I, I don't know if they'll be affected by this, but you may see some stuff like them go away. It's already a battlefield for anyone that uses uh, copyright anime content on their channel. A lot of people like do top 10 lists or doing stuff that are clips from anime already know that it's a struggle. So all I can say is it may get even worse. Anyway, that's all for Noble News. Hope you guys enjoyed this here. Uh, some was good, some was bad, but that's how things go. It's Noble News, brought to you by the noble man himself. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and other things below in the description. Have a nice debate about all this. The classiest you can, guys. The classiest you can. And I look forward to seeing it. So thank you guys once again for watching. And I'll see all you beautiful sons and guns again next time. You crazy mother...